Hello, what's happening? So I just want to update on um, a few things since the last video. We are pretty close to being finished now after doing plumbing and electrics and we're just sort of doing finishing touches and stuff. It's kind of like a massive jump from two videos ago that was the bed and then the last video we were doing like storage and stuff. But all this stuff has gone like so fast. Um, once we once we finished the cladding, really, um, wasn't it after the cladding we did the bed? Yeah. So once we finished the cladding, everything's just gone so much faster. Um, it's massive like progress in like a couple of days' work. So that's why I haven't really got most of it, most like each detail on video. But I just want to show the plumbing and electrical side of things um, now. So this is what our sort of finished countertop and storage and tap looks like. And then if we come in, our water tank is stored in here. So it's a, it's a permanent fixing. The tap is plumbed into the water tank, so we can't pull that tank out. Um, so we have, we can fill it up with a hose at the moment, um, and we think we will be able to fill it up with another jerry can, sort of from outside the van, a bit higher up, and a hose into it. So we've kind of been experimenting with that. But this is a, there's no water pumps or electrics or anything involved in this system and there's no manual pump, it's just a complete gravity fed system. So time for a demo. The water goes into the tank obviously up here. Just through there. And then down through the pipe and then we just plumb this pop tap. Oh. And then from the sink the water travels down a U bend through this pipe and into our waistline. So that's that's our like really simple plumbing setup. And then uh, from the, the hole that we cut out for the sink, we've just kept the, the bit of wood that was cut out and that just slots nicely back in there. So there's just a few sort of aesthetic finishing touches to that, but that's um, pretty much done. While we're here, all this storage um, has been sectioned off in the shelves and um, stuff. This is where we're going to put our table for now. We're going to attach that to a bit of string um, and obviously put like little clasps and uh, door handles on all these um, cupboards. But that's going to attach there and that will do as a table for now. So we've got plenty of storage and then all under the bed is storage as well. So I'll probably do a, I'll probably do a more detailed video on all of that and what we have. Um, but we also did the electrics, so let's go around the other side. This is our electrical system. It still needs a bit of fine tuning and tidying up and stuff. But we have um, a 120 amp hour battery, leisure battery, and um, I think I mentioned this before, we went for the AGM uh, uh, type battery, so that's like a glass matte um, fiber battery. I'm not sure of the exact technical details, but basically it does better in um, uh, vibrations and stuff. It's uh, made for marine, uh, van, motorhome, uh, like all that sort of stuff, so that's why we went for that battery. Then we've got the C-Tech D250SA. This is a smart charger um, that uh, charges from the uh, starter battery in the van. So whenever we turn the, t turn the ignition and the engine starts, this will power on after about um, 40 seconds to a minute. Um, and then that starts charging our leisure battery. And then off the leisure battery, we go on to this um, power inverter. So we've gone for a 1500 watt to peak 3000 watt 
So that will give us um, 240 volt electricity and 1500 watt is more than enough for us, I think. Um, we'll be able to run all of our chargers for cameras and stuff that we need and then um, possibly a hairdryer for Claire. And then if we want to make smoothies or whatever, we'll be able to run our blender and that sort of thing. I can't really think, maybe a, a, a travel kettle or a small heater at some stage if we need it during the winter. Um, but I think this will de definitely be more than enough. And then also off the battery, we've got our 12 volt fuse box. And that runs into the main part of the van where we have more of our appliances. So we were waiting for months, well, not months, that's a bit of an over exaggeration. <laughs> we, were, we, were, we were waiting for weeks for this. And um, this is one of the first things we installed, but we never seen it working. So once we put our 12 volt fuse box in, we were able to wire this up and now we have a fan that works. So that's really good for hot days in the summer. And also in all of the other videos, you probably saw the lights were just sort of hanging here. So we've just snipped them off. They were on this, they were, and we just put the wire back up in there. We'll put a wee um, cover over that or whatever. They were wired off the starter battery. So basically if you opened any door, the lights would go on, but we didn't really think that was necessary. Um, and it was more sort of annoying that that happened anyway. You could switch it off with the switch, um, but then you have to go back into the front cab to switch it back on. But the fact that it, um, uh, turned on when you open the door was more annoying because it means if you have the door open for a long period of time It's just running the starter battery down, which means that it might have trouble starting so We snipped those off there and rewired them onto our leisure battery circuit. So now we have uh, we, we also split them in half so we have a strip at the front and a strip at the back and That now comes off a switch inside the cabin, which turns them on and off. So that's pretty good that we have that. And um, I've just been working on this as well. So this is gonna be like a little control panel. So we'll put that up there and the switches and stuff will mount onto that. We've also got uh, more 12 volt so we got USB sockets and we've got the 12 volt, just regular 12 volt socket. This has got a, a rating for the battery on it as well, which is really, really handy because, um, well, I'll come back to that in a second. We have uh, the remote off the, uh, the inverter, which gives us a rating for the battery, but that's kind of just like lights, which are, like blocked up so as the battery runs down I'm, I'm we haven't run it down any yet we've had stuff plugged in but it seems to be not any drain on the battery so i assume these lights are going to go off as the battery drains but um you can immediately tell with these figures um how the the battery's doing so when the when the van's turned on and the uh SeaTech is running and charging the battery and stuff. This goes up to um, 14.7 possibly, something around that. So that means it's charging. And then you can see the figure sort of dropping um, more accurately um, as we are charging our phones or whatever, the, the figure tends to go down ever so slightly. It hasn't dropped below 12.3 yet. Um, and I don't think it's to go much lower than that actually. So that gives us a more accurate reading anyway. We can sort of tell if there's something drastically wrong with our battery uh, straight away just by looking at that figure. Um, so that's the plumbing and electrics. I'll do a more detailed video about the storage and stuff, but we've just got a few um, little bits and pieces. We might put a wee fridge in here where we're just just looking at that, um, so we're not 100%, we were 
there's a lot of options for fridges. We were thinking a 12 volt cool box. Um, and then we were kind of sort of thinking about a fridge as well. You have three way, you have compressor and loads of different options. So we've just left that for now and we're gonna do more research. And then it's really just, we've got a drawer to fit and just I already said about the knobs and stuff, so we just put those on and then just finishing touches really and the seat cushion. We've been practicing with uh, our stitching skills. So we made this window cover and that's Wait, just- cut to window cover being on. <laughs> okay. Um, all, the, all this is, is um, some of the, the uh, what do you call it? The Calico. Thermorap. Oh yeah. So it's the foil Thermorap insulation that we had. <laughs> so we just did that and then um, it's more the, the Calico canvas stuff that I use for painting. So I had sort of just got bored one day and done that ages ago, just throwing paint at the canvas. and. It was just sitting in my study, so I thought, why not make some use of it? So we've got to do some for the back doors, um, and make a little sort of curtain and stuff, and then the seat cushion as well. But it's really just aesthetic stuff now. Minus the seat cushion, it's essential. Everything else is kind of just aesthetic stuff. Um, but we can really go on our trip anytime, once we get the seat cushion done, which is good. What will we, we do next? Next video might be a tour. Yeah. Van tour. But we're going to have the seat cushion and we're hopefully going to have a fridge. Yeah. We're hopefully going to have a gas stove. I was thinking that we want to show this, the stitching stuff, but it's kind of Mm, it's very unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, we don't know whether it's going to work or whether it's not going to work. That's that's kind of why we didn't do the plumbing as well. It was really experimental. So we want to try. We wanted to like sort of try a few different things out, and it is so simple. Um, just put the tank up higher than the sink, and the gravity brings it down, and then it goes into the waste. Like so simple, but. It was a, a bit of an experiment, which is why we didn't video the whole thing. We can do another video, um, a bit of an update once there's more stuff done. So, should I end it now or show the yeah, stuff first? Yeah, keep it, end it now. Peace out, keep it true and keep it real.